Hello guys, today I want to talk about eloquent relationships and specifically about deeper relationships than one level. So generally we are working with has many, belongs to, or many to many. These are the most popular types of relationships. But what if you have a relationship some deeper level? For example, countries, the table of countries, then each country has some cities, so city belongs to a country, and then in the city something else happens, so level number three, for example, shops, and every shop belongs to a city. And you have some tasks to query the data with using first level, second level, and third level, and belongs to isn't enough. Well, it is enough, but the query gets more complex. How to deal with those three levels or even more levels deep? with eloquent functions like has many through relationship and a few packages. Let me show you. An example number one is what if you want to query the country list with the amount of shops per country. So remember there's country and then there's city and then there's shop. So you cannot immediately query the relationship unless you specify so-called has many through relationship. So if we go to country database model, generally what you have is has many for the cities. But you can also define a relationship called shops with return this has many through and then related table is shop with another related model which is city related to the shop via city or through city and then you can query the shops and not only that you can query with count so for example we will have country get and inside of that we'll have country with shops for example like this one Okay, app models country added here, country and shops. And in the index blade, I've made an old school table, even without any HTML, even with older deprecated border one. So for each of the countries, shops count like this. And let's try it out. Let's launch that page. And we have the results. This is zoomed in version. I've seeded 50 random shops. So this is how you can query shops count with has many through relationship or you can do it even with count of shops, then you don't load all the shops models, you load only the number of the shops, and you access that with shops count as a property. And if we refresh that, the result should be the same. It's absolutely the same. And let's take a look at the query, database query, what is inside, what is launching under the hood. And for that, we will install a package called debug bar. So composer require Barry VDH Laravel debug bar. I'm typing that from memory. And that's all we need to do to install it. We don't need to enable anything. We just refresh the page and we have queries. And this is the query. Actually, let's zoom out a bit so we can actually read that. So select country and then there's a sub query for select count from shops joining cities and joining the countries. And this is one pretty fast eloquent query. The second example is the other way around. So what if you want to query the list of the shops and list the country for every shop? And generally, first I will show you the wrong way. So getting all the shops and then we have relationships and relationships are described in model. So shop belongs to a city. And then if we click the city, city belongs to a country. And then after that controller in the blade file of index, we do for each of the shops, we show the name and we show shop city, then country, then name. It is working. So the list is here. The problem, however, with that list is the amount of queries launched to the database. So every time it's launching the city, it is launching a query to the database and also to the country a query to the database. If we see the debug bar, select from city, select from countries are happening all the time for the 50 shops and there are 100 queries in total. To avoid that, of course, we can use eager loading. So shop with and then get shop with city dot country. And then if we refresh, there are only three queries. So we get the shops, we select from cities with only cities that we need and select from countries with only the countries that we need. That is great, three queries. But another problem here is that we load all the cities and the countries, although we don't really need the cities actually, and 62 models and we load all the cities, although they are not present in the table. 
And to try to solve that problem, we will use a package from Jonas Staudenmeier, and he released quite a few packages about relationships, and we will try a few of them in this video. And one of them is called belongs to through, which is the opposite of has many through. So has many through is inside of Laravel by default, and belongs to through isn't available. So let's install that package and define that relationship, and let's see the amount of queries that we have. We install the package then we need to define that relationship. So belongs to through, we need to use that trait in our shop model. So we use that trait here, and then we can define public function country from the shop, return this belongs to through. So belongs to a country class through city class. And now we can try to use the country without any city directly here. And in the index blade, we don't need the city either. So let's try it out. Remember, there were three queries and 62 models. We refresh. The result is the same and two queries and 59 models. So as you can see, city is not present here at all. And the query is, of course, a bit more complex. It's through key, something like that but it helps with performance. And now let's go even deeper, like literally deeper with a package called has many deep from the same Jonas Staudenmeier. So imagine we have the fourth level in the database and this is employees. Employee belongs to a shop, which in turn shop belongs to a city, city belongs to a country. And what if you want to query country with the amount of employees per country, something like that. So let's install that package. Again, this is not available in Laravel Eloquent by default and has many deep allows you to do something like this. So has many deep with array of models with chaining them. And let's try it out. We install the package. So copy this one, paste into the console. Okay, and now in our main country model, we should have country model use this trait has relationships and then we can define what is the syntax comments has many deep so public function employees with return this has many deep to employee class with the array of models along the way. So user and post in that case. So this is the first level, this is the second level. So we have city class as the next level and shop class as another level. And there can be multiple unlimited levels here. And we will take a look at the query a bit later. So this is our relationship for country employees. And let's try to do that in the controller. So let's get back to the previous example of country with count shops. Now let's do with count employees. And let's comment that out and pass the countries. And I've changed the blade to country and employees count. And let's try it out. Refresh the page. Any errors? No errors. I've seeded 200 employees and that actually works. And this is the query, select countries, and then there's sub select join shops, join cities, and does everything under the hood. So in one query, we select everything. And we have only three models for the country. So we don't load any cities or shops or even employees, we just load the numbers. If you need all the models of employees, of course, you can do that with employees count like this as we did with countries with shops. So instead of with count, you do just with employees and that would do the same result here, but with more queries and with more models, because now you would load all the employees, but again, without intermediate models, there's no city model loaded. There is no shop model loaded, only the query of first level and the last level that you need with pretty good performance. So that's it about deeper levels of Eloquent. To recap, you can use has many through from Laravel Eloquent or a few packages by Jonas Staudenmeier, and he has even more packages, so you can check out his GitHub profile for more stuff. And if you want to know more about Eloquent relationships in general, one of my courses on Teachable is called Laravel Eloquent Expert Level. It's kind of old, so it was created from, I remember, in Laravel 6 even, but Eloquent hasn't changed since then. So if you want four hours about Eloquent with topics like observers, accessors, mutators, seeds, method properties in Eloquent API, 
all of those relationships as well. Actually, let's expand it. So collections, relationships, yeah. So has many through is mentioned here as one of the lesson. So you can check out that course or check out all of my courses on laravelDailyTeachable.com. I urge you to subscribe to the yearly membership, which you will use to get access to all the 20 courses and everything for a year ahead, which I will release. The next course I'm planning is on Flutter and Laravel API. So to create mobile apps, it's probably going to be released in September. I'm not in a rush with that because of some downtime and holiday, but I will keep pushing courses on this Teachable platform and yearly membership will help you to get those. And see you guys in other videos.